we're hitting the road again. In addition to road dirt and grime, 2021 is cicada season and they sure can make a mess. You know you should wash your RV. This is how we keep our rig clean. Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Tanya. And together, we're Breaking Home Base RV. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about the three most common types of washes for the RV, motorhome, and travel trailer. We want to know how you wash your RV. Tell us in the comments below how you keep the exterior of your home on wheels shiny and clean. Road grit, salt, and oil residues from rain can damage paint and begin the rusting process to the body surfaces of your motorhome. The recommendations in this video are for your rig and your towed vehicle as well. Having a bit of an issue with a bird that's been perching on the top of our RV and pooping all over everything. I think he's up there right now. Bird poo has an acidic pH that erodes into vehicle paint. Add a little sun with warm temps and UV rays, and you have an abrasive and corrosive substance. In addition to birds, bugs can cause similar problems to vehicle paint. After the splat, bugs emit an acid as they decompose. Small spots of erosion to clear coat will give way to a peeling problem. A clean motorhome before you start your trip gives you optimal visibility from the windows. The process of a cleaning allows you to identify any issues with wipers, windows, wires, the license plate, tires, mirrors, and covers. You want to catch any issues with the exterior of your motorhome before you hit the road. Here are three types of cleaning methods we like to use. Some things are just best left to the professionals. Mobile wash units come right to your location and bring their own supplies. This was our first experience with a professional wash and polish team. Safety, time, and detail makes the experience worth a few hundred dollars for a quality detail job. Quality was the name of the game with this company. With the meticulous wash, they used quality soaps and lamb's wool tools. The wash crew just left. They're going to let the rig dry and then they'll come back and polish the entire rig. It's going to feel really great to be out on the road with a nice clean and sparkling RV. The polish set our rig on show. Mobile Wash used buffers with foam pads to complete the job. Information on the company that we used in Fort Myers, Florida is down in the description box below. The drive through Truck Wash Blue Beacon Truck Wash has 24-7 drive-up service at 110 locations. Competitive pricing based on RV length and add-ons make the Truck Wash an economical solution after a long road trip. Although the roof will only get a rinse down, you can add your tow vehicle as an additional cost. We've used Blue Beacon several times. Information on Blue Beacon can be found down below in the description box. Uh, we like to stop here and get the RV washed on our way back from a big trip because it's only about an hour, hour and a half away from home base in Fort Myers. Um, 
And that way when we show up, we have a mostly clean rig and a pretty easy wash at home. The foreman just came up and asked what we wanted and we're gonna get a wash. And then they asked, do you want the RV brushed or not? Um, then they also offer their add-ons like the Rain-X treatment that they put all over the, the window and wheels and rig that helps road grind come off easier in the future. Um, then they just verify the length of the rig so they know how to charge you. Um, once we pull in, I'll hop out and go in the office and pay for everything. The DIY Wash. Because we have a home base and a storage unit, we have a place to store our ladder, buckets, brushes, and products. For a thorough job, we use our little Ryobi pressure washer from the Home Depot and a gallon of Purple Power from Walmart. The DIY option isn't always the best method, but certainly necessary from time to time. There are lots of great products out there and a good wash and polish should significantly reduce your routine DIY wash time. Gabe and I want to thank you for joining us today. Please check out our other videos and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you on the road.